Morning, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Wanted to give you my Friday reads on a Saturday morning. Uh, didn't quite get this done yesterday because I was in the middle of a book and we had a ball game yesterday and so I just didn't have the time to get it done. So I'm going to give that to you this morning. Um, hope everyone's doing well. I know some people are getting lots and lots of snow. Um, our snow is actually gone now. It, uh, we got some early in the week and it melted. By the time I walked home last night from uh, our basketball game, uh, I walked through the yard and I'm like, where'd all the snow go? <laughs> so it, it warmed up a little bit yesterday and got rid of the snow. So um, anyway, this week uh, at school, we, we started our American Revolution unit and uh, so we got that kind of going full speed ahead with my 8th grade and 7th uh, grade we got World War II going and they were looking at Blitzkrieg yesterday and um, so that's really what we're learning in, in class right now. The My high school class went over the Black Death and um, we've been going over just some of the different things going on in medieval society. We were really studying uh, the, the changeover in cathedrals and in, in the architecture in the cathedrals and some of the some of the building innovations that they came up with in the Middle Ages. So some of that's been uh, pretty interesting. The kids have really been enjoying that and I've been enjoying uh, teaching that. Some of that's for the first time. I've some of this medieval stuff I'm hitting for the very first time and so it's it's kind of neat. Um, so anyway, uh, th this week we also got to well last Friday we got to start, uh, basketball back up again. I think I told you that in the last Friday reads and got a nice uh, victory there. And then this week we've got two more wins for our eighth grade group. Uh, last night was a overtime win. So that was, that was exciting. We got a pretty good group of kids and sometimes it's good uh, to, to get pushed to the limits to see how you do under pressure. And they did well under pressure. So I was very, very pleased with that. Um, this week in reading, I finished uh, George Washington, The Forge of Experience, 1732 to 1775 by James Thomas Flexner. It's the first volume in his four-volume set on uh, Washington. And this one takes from the birth of Washington all the way up to the eve of revolution. And... Um, it was pretty good. I I enjoyed it. I'm I don't want to say a ton on it because I'm going to do a book review on it, and um, I don't want to like steal my own thunder on that one. But uh, I'd like to do a little bit of a review on this. This is probably one I might do later today and upload it in the coming days. So uh, look forward to that, and I'll put the I'll put the link to that review when it gets up in this video as well, so you can go see that. But uh, this was, it was good. It does a really good job of, uh, the, one of the biggest things that I get out of this book when I was reading it was Flexner, um, although I, I think he's a Washington fan, uh, I also get the, the impression that he wants us to see the real man. He, you know, it's not just a, a fluffy, you know, look at Washington in a godlike state. That is that is not how he approaches it. He approaches it by uh, not only looking at his good qualities, but also looking at his flaws, his, his bad qualities. And and he creates a, a real-life human, <laughs> where some authors on Washington, they just go overboard in gushing about him. Um, you know, Washington was a real man. He had flaws. And uh, uh, Flexner hits that in his in his uh, series here, so I'm I'm enjoying that. That's that's nice to look at, and I also started watching online, and I think this was last week I was watching it, um, the TV mini series that was based on Flexner's novels on George Washington uh, from the were those I think those were from the early '80s, um, but that was that was kind of interesting. I might even do a little bit of a review. A book slash movie, you know, comparison. Uh, so we might, I might even look at that later in the in the coming weeks. I got, I got to get the movie finished. I just watched little bits and pieces of it, but uh, that was interesting. So, anyway, the book that I've been reading, I started it yesterday morning, and I've been reading it all this morning. And if all goes to plan, I might be able to have this finished tomorrow morning or on Monday. One of the one of the two. 
just kind of depends on uh, how fast I'm reading and what's going on in life. You know, how much, how much time am I going to get? But uh, the one I'm reading right now is Nathaniel Philbrick's uh, In the Hurricane's Eye, The Genius of George Washington in the Victory at Yorktown. And um, I'm enjoying this so far. It, um, it really hits on uh, all the stuff here at the here at the very beginning anyway it's it's hitting on the build up to Yorktown all the stuff that led up to that so he has he has covered um, like right now I was just reading about Nathaniel Philbrick drawing Cornwallis into the battle of Guilford Courthouse and uh, right before that he was talking about the the um, the battles in March out on the ocean uh, between the British and French, and and he was also talking about um, oh oh uh, Benedict Arnold and how he was starting to become a pain in the neck in Virginia, leading the British uh, troops, and how Thomas Jefferson maybe didn't quite handle that as or take it as seriously as he should have, and so um, he's been covering some of that stuff and the build up to uh, Yorktown. Matter of fact, he just made the statement. Uh, and I probably need to make a note of it, but he just made the statement in the part that I was reading about uh, Guilford Courthouse is the key event that pushes or, or leads on to Yorktown. And, and so I, I probably need to go take note of that. But uh, anyway, uh, this, is, this is good. And so hopefully I can get this finished in the next couple days. And then uh, I'll try to get a book review on this later next week maybe. And... Uh, you know, just tell me, tell you my thoughts on the book. And then the other book that I have, I have planned aside from, you know, the fiction books as Christmas, uh, Christmas gets here. Um, my school, we have school on Monday, Tuesday, and then we have a half day on Wednesday. And then we're out for break for about a week and a half. Um, it's kind of a short break this year, um, just because of how things fell on the calendar. But, uh, I plan on finishing up John Grisham's A Time for Mercy, and uh, Kristen Hanna's The Great Alone. I'm going to try to get those done over Christmas break. But the one that I'm going to do this week is this really short novel, uh, and it's a Christmas. I, I think it's a Christmas novel, if I remember correctly. It's kind of set around Christmas time. But The Angel of Bastogne uh, by Gilbert Morris. And so I'm going to try to, sorry about the glare, I'm going to try to get that done. It's It's only 156 pages, so... I might even be able to get that done in one one morning read, and I'll tell you my thoughts on that. But those are my plans for reading this week. Um, it's it's been uh, I've had a pretty good week reading actually. I've I've gotten some solid nonfiction reading done, and I have planned for the break some relaxed um, fiction reading. And uh, I was just looking at some lists. I think when I finish this, this is actually the last book on my nonfiction November list that I was going to read because I, I uh, DNF'd one book. I, I'm just not going to finish it. I'm going to actually get rid of it because it was just incredibly boring and I just didn't care for it. Um, but I got the other four books that I had planned on reading, finally finished. Uh, some stuff came up in between that I wasn't able to get it done in November, but that's okay. So I'll do a uh, nonfiction November wrap-up also. Uh, it's, it's a, probably about time for that. <laughs> and then uh, in these coming weeks, or in this, this coming week, I'm also going to start thinking about uh, creating my 2021 reading plans. Uh, I think I'm going to put together a list of 12 books, one for each month, and uh, a list of 12 books that I would really like to get read for 2021. And at the same time that I'm getting that list done, I am going to be working on trying to finish my 2020 list and my, um, what was it, the, the nonfiction challenge. And I've got like two big lists of books. And so I don't think I should make any more lists past that. I need to, you know, kind of try to wrap up what my plans were. So anyway, that's, that's how life's been going here in uh, uh, Iowa. Hope everybody's uh, having a good day. Hope everybody's staying warm. Staying warm and look for maybe a little bit of a warm-up. I don't know. Uh, a warm-up for December, anyway. Uh, hope everybody has a good weekend. A Merry Christmas. I know my family, We're because of how plans are, we're going to celebrate Christmas uh, tomorrow. And uh, hopefully that all goes well. And, and um, yeah, so I hope everybody's having a good weekend. So uh, thank you for watching BookTube. 
Have a great day and happy reading.